And now you should be on the plugins page right here. And you can see down here a list of different plugins that are installed onto your WordPress website, including the two that we just activated. So by default, WordPress installs some of these plugins for you. And if you don't wanna use them, you can just deactivate them and delete them. But we're gonna leave everything as is right now, so don't worry about these. All I wanna do is come up to the top and we wanna add some additional plugins. So let's click on this button that says Add New. And once you're on the Add Plugins page, this is where you would go to search for different plugins that you need to customize and make your WordPress website. You can search by different filters here, or you can type in the keywords right here. And again, there are thousands of different plugins that you can find on the WordPress website right here. So what we're gonna do is just type in the name of some plugins that we need to install to make our WordPress website. So what I wanna do is go to the text tutorial on how to make a WordPress website for free. And again, there's a link to this page in the video description and go to step number nine, which is the download and install these other plugins step. And all I wanna do is just highlight all of these plugin names. So I'll highlight the first one, which is Site Origin Widget Bundle, and copy that, and then go back to our WordPress website and just paste that in right here. And you'll see these search results come up, and we want this one right here by the Site Origin Developer. So go ahead and click on the Install Now button. And once the plugin is installed, let's just click on the Activate button right here. And once the plugin is activated, you should be brought back to the plugins page. And in your list over here, now you should see the plugin that you just installed and activated. So what we're gonna do is go to the text tutorial a few more times and just copy each of these names for all of these different plugins and then search for them and install and activate them. If you wanna save some time, you can pause this video and do that on your own or you can just follow along to make sure that you install the right plugins. So we're gonna do this together. So I'll go back to the WordPress website and the first thing that we're gonna do is click on add new. And once you're back on the add plugins page, just come to the search box right here and then go to the text tutorial and highlight the second plugin. So that's Black Studio Tiny MCE widget and copy that and then just paste that in right here. And once the search results come back, you should see this one by Black Studio and go ahead and click on the Install Now button and then just click on the Activate button. And once the plugin is activated, we wanna add another plugin. So click on Add New. And once you're back on the Add Plugins page, let's go to the text tutorial and the next plugin is the Contact Form 7. So highlight and copy this and then go back to the WordPress website and just paste that in right here. And once the search results come back, this is the one that we want. So click Install Now, and then just click Activate. And once again, we're gonna click on the Add New button. And once you're back on the Add Plugins page, let's go to the text tutorial, and the next plugin that we want is the Easy Facebook Like Box. So copy this, and then go back to the WordPress website, and let's just search for this, so paste it in right here. And once the search results come back, the one that we want is by Sajed Javed. So click on the Install Now button, and then click on the Activate button. And now let's click on the Add New button again. And now let's go back to the text tutorial, and the next plugin that we want is the Polylang plugin. And you only need to install this plugin if you wanna translate your WordPress website. If you don't wanna translate your WordPress website, go ahead and copy the next plugin name and search for that one instead. So right now, I'm gonna highlight and copy the Polylang plugin and then go back to the WordPress website and just search for that right here. And once the search results come back, the one that we want is by Federique. So let's click on the Install Now button and then just click on the Activate button. And once again, let's click on the Add New button. And now let's go back to the text tutorial and the next plugin that we want is the Recent Post Widget Extended. So copy this and then go back to the WordPress website and just paste that in right here. And once the search results come back, this is the one that we want. So go ahead and click on the Install Now button and then just click Activate. And now let's install the last plugin that we need. So click on the Add New button and let's go back to the text tutorial. And the last plugin that we need is the Simple Light Box. So copy this and then go back to the WordPress website and just paste that in right here. 
And once the search results come up, this is the one that we want. So click on install now, and then just click on activate. And then just click activate right here. So once we're redirected to the plugins page, you can see that I have these plugins right here. So I'll just scroll through them and they should all be activated. So it should all have the deactivate link right here, which means they're activated. So if you see these plugins, then we are good to go and we can move on to the next step.